In the header panel, you can set the layout for your header. To better understand different header layouts, let's see what the icons represent. The thick line that you see on the left is the logo as well as the logo module position. The three thin lines are the NAFPA menu and all the modules published in the NAFPA position. In my case, it's the sign up button. And the search icon represents the header menu as well as all modules published in the header module position. Some layouts can split or push items of a position, which are shown as ellipses. Right now, I have a horizontal left layout. As you can see on the icon, the logo as well as the number position are left aligned, and the header position is right aligned. You can also set the maximum content width for the header and navbar. Choose between the default, small, large and x-large to set a fixed max width. Or choose the expand option to expand the header to the full width of the viewport, keeping a small padding to the left and right. Optionally, you can remove the logo padding for layouts where the logo is positioned on the left. This is useful, for example, where logos have colored backgrounds. Of course, you can choose a different layout. In the horizontal layouts, the logo as well as the navbar and header positions are displayed side by side, from left to right with different alignments. For example, you can choose the horizontal center layout, horizontal right, horizontal justify, or horizontal center logo. There are also different stack layouts. The logo as well as the navbar and header positions are displayed above each other and are centered horizontally. In the stack center C layout, the header position is split and aligned to the left and right, while the logo is placed in the middle. By default, the logo is placed automatically between the items, but you can optionally set the number of items after which the items are split. For example, this may be needed if menu items have different length or if additional modules are published in the position. Since I only have one module, there is no need to split items. In the Stack Center split layouts, the menu items of the navbar are split and the logo is placed in the middle. Here again, there is an option to split items. So let's split the items after two items. The same can be done for the Stack Center Split B layout. In the Stack Left layout, the logo and the header position are displayed on the left and right, while the navbar is shown below. In this layout, there is an option to push modules published in the NAPA position to the right of the layout. Finally, you can also select a stack justify layout. Here as well, the logo and the header position are displayed on the left and right, and the navbar is justified below.